Logan Kane here, and this is Spaceship Havoc. Spaceship Havoc is a small arcade game about shooting spaceship. <laughs> Enjoy fast 2D space dogfight. Avoid the drones and other spaceship and try to kill as many of them as possible. How do you kill things you're trying to avoid? It a small agility and reflex based challenge made in three weeks. I shard the game development at subject.tumblr.com? Spaceship Havoc is available on all major OS. Gamepad is recommended, but you can play with your keyboard. Thank you. Update 1. Blah 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 blah. 99 cents or more. Windows. Linux. Darwin? I guess it's for Mac. From the looks of things, yeah, it looks like a game that was made quickly, which apparently it was, so... Whatever. Let's try it. And we're back. Look at that. Update found. Downloading. How exciting. Anyway, I did want to say something. I've been going through quite a few games here on Itch.io, and a lot of them just don't work on Ubuntu 64 Linux. And that's a problem. I don't know if I'm just being retarded, or stupid, or whatever, or if Ubuntu is just terrible at 32-bit support now. I would use Void Linux, but then I miss out on being able to use Caden Live, which is what I used out of my videos. So. I may be stopping the pseudo play series for the foreseeable future. And just focusing on let's plays. Because a video a day is still a video a day. I just like to do these because I want to help out Itch.io, I also want to help out Zipcast, get more content on Zipcast, get more views for Itch.io. But these games lately have just been 32 bit game, 32 bit game, oh, it doesn't want to work, so. Whatever. I'll figure it out eventually. And. If I can find a way to edit my videos, as well as be able to play the games on the same system, I'll probably start doing them again. But until then, I think I'm going to quit with the pseudo plays. Or rather, the pseudo looks. The pseudo play will keep going. And I'm probably going to go with Shadowgate as soon as Paper Sorcerer is over, which I should be working on after this video. Alright! It closed and reloaded. Let's see what's on with Spaceship Havoc. Pretty cool it had an automatic update updater for a three week game. So far I don't hear any sound. Or anything happening. Okay, press A or C to start. You know, click this. Because there's apparently no options. Let's press C. Alright. It's almost up no. <laughs> it's nowhere near Operation Inner Space. And it's made in 2015. Well, maybe it's not. I didn't look at the date. But. Anyway, we have a bunch of these ships. That thing looks like a tentacle from the Maniac Mansion Day of the Tentacle. Anyway, let's just go. Uh, let's go with the tentacle thing. New game, I guess. Press C. And then freeze. Okay, I can move. V is. Well, is, okay. C was fire, and V is charge shoot. Okay, I'm just gonna press C into. Okay. So this is... This is weird. Some sort of shield? Yeah! Well, there... Okay, there's some sound effects. No music. So I might add in some music, just so this isn't so awful. So I can hold this? Okay. Oh, okay. I charge up my shield completely, and then my shield's charged up. There's a little arrow showing where the enemies are. Hey, don't hurt my... Let me charge up my shield. There, okay. Turn around. Bam. So, yeah, that's all there is to this game. Oh, better charge my shield. Oh, wait. I killed him. Never mind. Can I just spam my attack? Okay. We don't have a score. Oh, better go charge. The shield makes... If I, I don't think I should have the shield, considering how stupid this game is. Look at it. Yeah, it, it's kind of fun, actually. Admittedly, it's a little fun. But, it's not a game. And I think many of us could argue that it's not a game. Uh, actually, I take back saying it doesn't have a score. If I remember correctly, when I died, it showed a score, so... When I die again, we'll find out. 
Oh yeah, charging my shield, because in order to charge a shield, I pull stuff in from space, which then explodes and disappears into a shield. Where's the enemy's shields? Oh yeah, that's right, I can just spam. I forgot about that already. Just spin and spin and spam. Too bad I'm not using a controller. I might be able to do a little bit better. Ah, nose itch. It's gonna get me killed. Alright. Wow. 42, life, the universe, and everything. My nose itched just in time for me to get that. That's weird. Anyway, time survived. Got kills. And that's it. That's it. Well, let's try and go back. How do I go back? I don't... I want to use a different ship. Well, I guess I'll have to restart it. I'll be right back here in a second. Oh, wait. There it goes. Here we go. I'm just being dumb. Let's try all the ships. Okay, that one... Wow, this one looks even more... cheap. Alright. Got my shield charged up. Oh, yeah. The laser beam, I thought, was cheap because it was so far range, but this is just as far range. And it's a spread shot. It's a spread shot! All I have to do is... I don't even have to press the button over and over again. This, oh, well, I died. The... The laser, I had to press the button separately every time. This one, I was able to just hold it. This one's clearly weaker. What's it gonna do? Move faster or something? Alright. Hear that sound effect? The beep deep beep deep and the doo <laughs> Why do you even... Why do you even have an update? Did the game not work at all? Is that why there was an update? Wait, is this a... One of those universe... Okay. I thought maybe if I went up enough, I'd come back to the other side of the universe. Because that's just what it felt like to me. Alright, so this weapon is getting boring already. I'm not going to use any more shields. I want to try the other ships. I suppose I can tell what the other ships shoot by just watching these guys. But, eh, that's too easy. Let's keep going until... Come on, just kill me already. What is the point of this game? Why am I playing this still? There we go. Alright, let's try this guy. But anyway, I do enjoy doing these videos. Wow. This one, I, this one I can't hold. This one I have to tap. I do enjoy play, doing these little first look videos, little pseudo looks, but it's just when you're like, oh, that game looks cool, and then it doesn't work. And then let's try that one, and it doesn't work. Makes me think, I wouldn't recommend Ubuntu for anything. The whole reason I'm using Ubuntu right now which is so I can say, hey, all these games work on itch.io easily on Ubuntu, but so many of them don't. And I'm not showing you the ones that don't, I'm only showing you the ones that do, which makes it feel kind of dirty. Wait, why am I trying? I kind of want to just die here so I can try the next ship. Where's the enemies? I'm just gonna fly. Can I crash into the enemy? Let's try and crash into him. Can't even see him. Oh my lord! I think, I think if I crash into him, they die. Oh wait, I still have shield. That's why. There we go. All right. Let's get this bullock. So, oh, is that it? We're done already. Well, yeah. Anyway. Well, thanks for watching. This is Spaceship Havoc. It's not bad. I wouldn't pay for it, but it's not bad. I could see potential. They could evolve this into a real game, but I don't know why it would. This clearly was for some sort of three-week game contest or personal record or something. I don't know. I don't know why it was created. Maybe if I went back... Actually, I can do that, can't I? How do we exit this game, anyway? Press A or C to start. I guess I can just click the X. That's what I'm going to have to do. So anyway, let, let's see what we got. The update added the spaceships, uh, the high scores, and several bug fixes. And when did this come out? When did this come out? I don't know. 
It doesn't say. Well, I guess that's it for Spaceship Havoc. If you enjoy it, buy it. If not, then, well, don't. In either case, enjoy.